In order to watch the new 4K Blu-ray releases of the new Dalek films, I'm going to tell you exactly what you need, because a surprising amount of people, a scary amount of people, have no idea. So, this is what you'll need. Number 1, a 4K TV that supports HDR. Number 2, a 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray player. Just a note, if you have an Xbox One S or One X or Series X, or PlayStation 5, those also have built-in 4K Blu-ray drives, so you can watch 4K Blu-rays using that. You'll also need to make sure you've got an HDMI 2.0 or above cable connecting the two. And finally, to get the absolute best experience, you'll need a TV that supports Dolby Vision, and a 4K Blu-ray player that also supports Dolby Vision. Now, you cannot play 4K Blu-rays in a regular Blu-ray player. A lot of people have asked this. But if you don't have a TV that supports Dolby Vision, but it's still a 4K TV, and pretty much all modern TVs now support at least HDR10, which this 4K Blu-ray supports. Basically, all 4K Blu-rays support HDR10, but they'll also have either a Dolby Vision or an HDR10+, or possibly an HLG, HDR version as well as the HDR10. Some blu 4K Blu-rays only have HDR10. What does this actually mean? It just means it's got a more advanced colour spectrum and as well as a more advanced contrast spectrum as well. So you'll get much more vivid and accurate colours as well as better contrast as well the higher up the HDR screen that you go. If you don't own a 4K TV or you don't own a 4K Blu-ray player, then there's not that much point at the moment getting the 4K releases unless you're a collector. And the reason is, is even though the transfer is the new transfer on the regular Blu-ray disc, you won't really notice much of a difference as generally it will look, if not about the same, maybe slightly better, but... To be honest, you won't really notice much of a difference. But, yeah, there we go, people, there we go.